Hi and welcome back to SoFlo Dining, South Florida's premier dining vlog. I'm Chef Dan and this is Doris, sometimes with a D. In this ed edition we're going to talk to you about Checkers Old Munchin, located at 2209 East Atlantic Boulevard in Pompano Beach, Florida. So how did you find the place? Um, I found this place, in, again, on Groupon's. I was looking for somewhere different to eat. Mm -hmm. um, they had a Groupon for it. I looked it up. I liked what I saw. Awesome. Um, I bought it. And when I went to go, the place was closed. Oh. Um, what happened? They, they were in the middle of a remodel. Um, back in 2012, they were in the middle of a remodel. Um, they were doing a $20,000 upgrade, I think, to the dining room and stuff, and a fire broke out in the kitchen area. Um, it was so bad that the fire department actually said that had they not gotten there when they did, the whole place would have been gone. But they, um, they continue to do business in Lauderdale by the Sea and Diner by the Sea. Okay. Um, and that's what got me into Lauderdale by the Sea. That's introduced me wow. to where it was. Talk about a lucky situation. Yeah. Um, but I went to the little diner and basically it's a small diner that just served breakfast mm -hmm. and they were doing the German food at night that they rented out the kitchen, I guess, or they loaned them out the kitchen. Nice. But the food was so good <laughs> that I had to get another group on and I wanted to go back to when they opened the real place, which they eventually did open the real location. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, it is very authentic, uh, German food without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Um, absolutely. The one thing that struck me there is I had a, um, I asked for a boot of beer, um, cause they sold it by the boot. Well, it came out, it was a boot of beer. I mean, I, it was like, I could have swim, swam in that. That's how big it was, <laughs> but it, delicious. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's, that is how I found them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. And, um, what is your first impression when you walk in there? First impression when I walk in there, it's very, very, um, I guess, home-like, family-like. You see a lot of families there. You get a family vibe. And it's very cozy. It's very cozy, tight. Uh -huh. You know, it's a very cozy place. You see all the steins that line the walls. Everyone has their own personal stein that they have. Oh, and explain about the steins and, and, oh. and uh, why that they're there. They have a, um, a world beer tour. There's 30 beers. Um, once you've had all 30 beers, you got to sign up. Once you've had all 30 beers, um, you'll get the t-shirt and you get the plaque and the stein. Um, and you get to keep your stein there. And you become a beer meister. You become a beer, official beer meister. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, and you don't have to drink all 30 at one time. They keep track of right. it for you. Right. That's why they keep the stein there and that's yeah. why you remember and all yeah. that other good stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's, but, that's um, wonderful. What about the menu options? Menu options. Mm -hmm. Menu options. It's, and the variety. The variety is outstanding. It's, it's all, you know, everything's covered. Uh, all your traditional German dishes. Uh, the sauces are excellent, very rich, heavy. You know, that's that's your German. Absolutely. That's, that's part of German cuisine is the heavy uh, stocks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and the knockwurst, the bratwurst, they have it all. Mm -hmm. Potato pancakes. Sauerkraut. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the goodies. Out. I remember um, we went there. The last time we went there, it was really, really cold out. Mm, right. And I remember getting that nice, warm feeling. As soon as we walked in there, that, that family vibe, yeah, that, that yeah, warmth yeah. and everything. And then the food, <laughs> which is so substantial and... and very hefty portions. Very, yeah, yeah. There was all that. Um, so it, it was really, really delicious. And where else can you get fried pork with cayenne dip? <laughs> they, had to, they had to throw a little South Florida into there. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I had the fried pork and they called it chicharrones. Chicharrones, right? yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I loved it. Um, their uh, drinks are beer. 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 They do have a happy hour. Right. And it's between three and six. Okay. Um, daily. And it's half price um, drafts. The drafts, yeah. Yeah. During the uh, three to six happy hour. So, uh, yeah. Well, one, one of the things that I got to say is you have to make sure to make a reservation. Oh, yes. Um, Must make reservations. There, there are many places we go to, as you know, watching these videos or following us. Um, there's very few that I see that get this busy. Mm -hmm. They get packed. 
Um, yeah. They have seating outside in the front, and this is before even COVID was around. They even put tables out front. Right. It, it's the place gets packed. Um, I know, and it's the funniest thing because you can be there, have a reservation, and you're you're like going around the corner to park or whatever, yeah. and um, by the time you come back, it's packed. Wait, right, it's yeah. just packed. Yeah, it's it, like you blink your eyes. You stayed away for three seconds too long, and the place is packed. Many times we drive past it, I always look in, it's always yeah, it's like, packed. Oh, no, no. We, we've driven by, and it looks like it's empty. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then yeah. we pull in, it's like, surprise! Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very busy. <laughs> um, and that's, a, a, you know, I guess that just goes to tell you how good the food is there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. The food is great. The presentation is yeah. great. We've, the portion size. Yeah, we've had a lot of the entrees they're, they're there. We've had amazing. the meatloaf, the, yeah. the beef roulade, that stuff with the pickle and the bacon and the mustard. Excellent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, the stuffed cabbage, really good. Very good. A wiener schnitzel, uh, uh, the knockwurst, the brockwurst, the potato pan. Mm -hmm. All excellent. There's really, it's very hard to go wrong with this menu. Oh, I, I mean, know. And I, the strudel. I, the strudel. Uh, and, and the chocolate forest cake. We had to take those home because, again, the, the portions are so hefty. Yeah. And we wanted that dessert, so we took yeah, it we home. Yeah, we wanted to taste it and, and, you know, be a part of that whole... Get the um, whole the whole, flavor, the whole, the whole experience, whole experience. You know? Yeah. And, um, yeah, we couldn't get that experience until the next day because we were, like, stuffed. No, and it's, it's, it's like I said, it's very authentic. There are several uh, German places here... In, in, the, the in the Pompano area. Yeah. Um, from what I understand, back in history, this was like a German enclave here uh -huh. in this area. But, I um, see that. But, yeah, they're they're starting to dwindle away, and this one's still there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it is good, um, it is without very, a doubt. Very good. So, very good. Um, I would say, um, very as satisfying. always, very enjoy, satisfying. and I'll see you there. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining us. It's always a pleasure. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Till then.